Hello, Dawes Road family, and to those of you who've tuned in, welcome in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We hope you're doing well, and we want you to be encouraged in your walk with Jesus. We want you to be walking in the victory of day-to-day -day living with Jesus. The Apostle John has encouraged us to do that as we passionately seek to follow Christ and grow up in Him. He addresses us as young men, even though it really has nothing to do with gender or age, but he would say this in 1 John chapter 2, he would say this, I write to you, young men, those passionately wanting to grow up in Christ, because you're strong and the Word of God lives in you and you've overcome the evil one. Yes, the devil with his lies wants to, he wants to pull you down and suck you into his lies and his deception and his ruin because he does not want you to progress in your walk in Christ. That's why we've looked at some of the lies that we, even we believers can get sucked into. And, and the Apostle Paul has mentioned about five of those lies in Colossians chapter 2. And we've looked at them briefly over the last few weeks. Things like, well, you need a, you need a, a secret. There's a secret to really being a good Christian. There's a, or there's a, a, a philosophical framework. You know, the 12 steps or five steps or four steps that, that'll... That'll, that'll anchor you in a good relationship with God. Or, or maybe it's some kind of ceremony. You need, to, you need to have some kind of ceremony or keep the right kind of Sabbaths or uh, rules or regulations. Or maybe it's just a matter of having just the right second blessing in your life. Or maybe it's adopting a whole set of new rules. And Paul says, no, they're all lies. They don't make you a better Christian. Well, then, then, then the Apostle Paul, what does? How can I live in victory, overcoming these lies of Satan and truly growing up in Christ? How do I do that? Well, Paul gives us the answer. It's not about those, those lies. It's rather, and this is what he says here in Colossians chapter 3, he says, Since then, you have been raised with Christ. You died with Christ when you put your faith and trust in Him, and He gave you now new life, so you've been raised with Christ. Here it is. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will also appear with Him in glory. So now it's really just a matter of focusing on Jesus, putting to death all those old passions of greed, selfishness, and sexual immorality, and rather embracing those wonderful passions of really growing up in Christ. Things like, um, things like compassion and kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, an attitude of forgiveness, and over all those things, putting on genuine love. You know how to get um, your drink out of us using a straw, don't you? Inside the straw is air. But to get the good stuff, the good drink, as it were, out of that cup, you need to suck the air out of the straw, and that'll bring up the good, uh, the good drink. Our Christian lives is the same way. Sometimes we get so locked, and try, locked into trying to get rid of the, the bad stuff that we forget that what we really need to do is be sucking up the good stuff. That's the, that's the secret. That's the, that's the victory of living daily in growing up in Christ. It is an attitude on Jesus, wanting Him, desiring Him, growing in His qualities. As we fill our minds and our hearts with those passions, we'll discover that we truly, genuinely are growing up in Jesus Christ. So God bless you as you do that, as we do that together, for Christ is risen He's risen indeed.